All right, I got my RGB combined. Now I need to find a background before I run color calibration. Where, where is my background? Welcome to SETI Astro. I'm sure we've all been here. You've combined your RGB image and you're ready to do color calibration, but you do need a region of interest for background neutralization or color calibration, or even an SPCC so you could do a, a background neutralization. And you have a field and there's tons of stars and maybe there's some integrated flux nebula in there. You're not quite sure where the background actually is. So been working on a script to, to deal with this. Uh, I have a collaborator, Garrett, over in Germany and uh, building off his ideas to automatically find a preview I've implemented a very fast gradient descent algorithm, which is similar to how machine learning is programmed in order to quickly and very rapidly determine uh, a background preview that we could use in all these. So I'll go ahead and pull up the script. Here's the beta version. And uh, it's easy. Just make sure you have your gradients removed and you've cropped out any stacking artifacts and tell it to execute. It'll go through and find a background for you. Right there, there's our background. So then you can go ahead and just use that background for things like background neutralization, or you can drop it into SPCC for its background. And the other place where it is very useful is in continuum subtraction, where you gotta have a, a background in here as well if you're not using Jurgen's easy button method. So again, uh, just run, in the, run the script here on my hydrogen red red composite image. And then you can go ahead and go through the standard methods of color calibrating our image here with the background that I found. And there we go. There's our continuum subtracted data uh, with, a, with a perfect background neutralization in there. One other item, the beta is fully functional. If you drop the instance off, you can go ahead and just just drag and drop this thing and it's going to go ahead and, and find your background for you. It does it in roughly three-ish seconds. All right, there's, a, there's another background it found. Now, it's good to remember that there's statistically similar or equally good background regions all throughout most images. So uh, if you do run it successfully, you may find that it settles on a, a slightly different background region. That's, that's totally okay. It's all statistically the same. There's plenty of areas in your image where there is uh, useful background to use in background neutralization and color calibration. And we can talk about what it's actually doing here. It is utilizing gradient descent. Here is an excellent image of what gradient descent does. So if you imagine this being your image with the higher points being brighter regions and the low points being darker regions. What it's doing is it's essentially throwing like 20 balls or points onto your image and letting them roll downhill. And then it's gonna find where all 20 of those balls rolled down and where they settled out at. And then it's going to pick the one that's in the lowest area and if there's if there's a tie it's going to find the one with the uh the smaller standard deviation and that's what it's going to use to define its its region for the background it does work equally good on mono images if you need a a background preview defined in there as well and it will go ahead and and find uh a suitable background in in mono images too. I think this uh, my eagle one here is a great 
test of the script as well as there are some very bright areas and then only a couple areas where you really want a background without nebulosity. There's this patch up here, there's a little over here, maybe a patch over here, and all those areas are where you'd like to find areas of background. So uh, with how it works with gradient descent, it's gonna automatically avoid nebulosity, bright areas, it automatically avoids stars, and we can go ahead and just zoom in what the console looks like here when it runs. It has the total number of pass. It tells you what it's completed. It'll say it's finished processing and then give you some statistics on the, on the preview it did find for you. This is just in the, the beta version of it now. Garrett is working on a lot of different optimization and filters to further improve our script here but I wanted to get it out to uh, the viewers of my channel if they wanna check out the, the beta version and uh, utilize it for themselves. Since it is a beta version, I don't have it on the uh, repository, so you'd have to go to my website, setiastro.com, and look under Pix Insight Scripts. It's gonna be there on the bottom. It's just a zip file. It's unsigned, so it should work with uh, everybody's build of Pix Insight. But if you want to try the beta version out and uh, see how it works for you. I'd appreciate any feedback uh, as Garrett and I build out this script uh, more fully and continue refining the algorithm. Please comment, like, and subscribe.